Hey guys, good morning. Uh, welcome to another video. It's Natural Hair 314 coming at you with a. Uh, this is a makeup video. I haven't done one of those in a while. So, um, I just got up not too long ago, did my little hygiene thing, washed my face so I have a nice clean palette to work with. And um, you're gonna be watching me do my makeup today. So, uh, and my hair too. <laughs> Cause you see my head still smushed. Uh, but yeah, and I was looking at my face and it's just like, it's like the older I get, the worse my face get. Hyperpigmentation, spots and just stuff that don't belong on my face. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Anyway, all that's gonna be gone after I do my makeup. So, um, sit at this journey with me and just watch how I completely transform because when I do my makeup, I don't do soft glam or all that where it barely looks like you're wearing makeup. No, I want to look different, completely different when I do my makeup. Like, I want you to be like, what? Yeah. So, um, get ready for this transformation. So, you see the before. And I noticed that I have high cheekbones. My cheekbones are coming through again, so that's what's up. But anyway, you see the before. Let's get started with that after. All right, um, I'm actually gonna do my hair first. So, take this headband off. Put it in my bag of headbands and pick a new one out to wear today I guess this black and pink one that's fine dang it did this just come off oh no it didn't okay perfect and get these two I'm gonna use this Mayel leave-in conditioner and then i'm gonna follow that up with the myel curl smoothie and if you know you know so i'm not gonna go into a big explanation if you use myel and you have type 4 hair then you know that pomegranate honey line is the bomb.com okay i got my what is this called water bottle or spray spray bottle there you go it's still early morning <laughs> um i got my spray bottle I'm gonna wet my hair put my products in and go from there then we're gonna start on my makeup and you see the kind of spray bottle i got this is the kind let me get away from the Okay. I wet up my hair. I'm going to I'm gonna put the leave-in conditioner first. Let's 
And then I'm gonna do the curl smoothie next. And you see that's a big product. So I kinda use a lot of that because like I said, my hair is thick. So that's all I have. Edges. might look a little light right now but uh once this product soaks in my hair it's gonna go back to its virgin original you know blackish brown color so I don't have to worry about it. See that? Look how moisturized it looks now. Okay. And then take my headband. And just push it back. And there you have it. Let's push some of this up on her. There you go. And there you have it. Maybe I pushed it back too far. But whatever. I gotta do my makeup, so. If you guys don't know what this is, I'll show you when uh, it comes time to do my eyeshadow. This is Miss Dear Quick Color Removal Makeup Brush Dry Sp Clean Sponge. You just take your brush. Take a brush. One of my Juvia Place brushes. And then you just, once you have your color on there, you're ready to do a new color, you just and get rid of that color. So I keep this in handy. This is handy. Okay. Time to get started. So first thing first, you want to always start with a primer to make sure your pores are really small. But as you can see, um, I guess my pores are a little big on the cheeks, but not really. So let's get my makeup container right here. I'm not using this one. Oh. 
color corrector. Ooh, can't forget this color corrector. Let's see what else I want to pull out while I'm in here. Uh, Fenty, I don't think I'm going to use you today. Just some of your products, my uh, This is for my eyeshadow primer. Did I pull out my... Yes, I did. That is a Pro Filter Concealer already. And my blush. Do I like that one? Yes, I do like that one. It does. So we're going to use this Maybelline Fit Me. foundation today since I'm just going to be at home so let's see let's get out these colorful eyeliners because I don't know what color I'm going to go with for my eyes today so let's get these eyeliners out the way Now all these are a different color eyeliner, so because I don't know what eyeshadow I'm going to use today, so yeah. Hmm. I know I probably should have had this stuff out and ready, but mm, no, I didn't. <laughs> I think that's all I'm using out of here today. I might use this. Okay, I think I'm going to use this Fenty Glow Diamond Bomb. I think I'm going to use that today. Like on the nose area. I'm going to put that right there. Other than that, I think that is all. I'm going to use that brush for my eyebrows. Let's get started. And you know, I don't do my makeup without my handy dandy Hydro Boost Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleansing Palettes. Like, because they get everything, all the mess ups and accidents, it wipes it away real easy. So, yeah. All right, let's get started. So, first, we're going to prime. I put three pumps, that should, oops. I put three pumps, that should be enough. And of course I use my Fenty Primer, Pro Filter Hydrating Primer, cause I kinda have dry skin, so I'm not really a big fan of matte makeup. 
because it drives my skin out. Got that on me. Now the next thing I'm going to use is a setting powder. Well, let's see. Do I want to use a color corrector or the setting powder? First. Let's do the color corrector first. And then put the setting powder on it. So as you can see, um, let me show you. All of this, all of that, right here, look like somebody punched me in my eye. Uh, what else? A little bit right here. Yeah. Right here, you see right here on the sides of my mouth. And then a little bit right there. So that's where I'm gonna be putting it at. So I'm gonna put this on before I put my setting powder on. Just because. Can you see that? It's coming out. So let me turn it around. Oh, I got a mirror. I need a mirror. And around my mouth, like I showed you. I don't know, like, question, does, does any other woman get, like, woman of color, get, like, the dark spots around the mouth or have dark spots around the mouth that you have to color correct before, you know, you do your makeup? Just let me know. I mean, we girls. This is a girl discussion. Or guys. So, yeah. And then, of course, I'm going to get in the creases of my nose. Right here. Oh, I don't have to color correct that. But, I still like to. Okay. Oof. It's a lot of color correct. And this is a color corrector, HD corrector, true complexion, black radiance. So, yeah. So now we're going to blend all this in. And just tap, tap, tap. Tap your life away, ladies or guys whatever tap 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 now i've gotten good tips from uh makeup artists on youtube and I learned what works best for me. Now, most people start with their eyes. I don't start with my eyes. Mm -mm. I don't start with my eyes. Uh -uh. I know. I, uh, okay. That eye booger out the way. <laughs> oh, okay. And you see how I blended that in? 
So, yeah. Oh, whoops. Forgot about her. Oh, and other part. Okay, tap, tap, tap the ladies. And gents. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. Now time for the setting powder. So... That's why I wore an old shirt. Well, it's not my old shirt, it's my pajama shirt. So I'm gonna go in because I have, I have the Fenty Beauty setting powder in nutmeg, but since I'm not going anywhere, I don't wanna waste my expensive setting powder. So I'm going to use my Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. Uh, what color is this? Mm, I don't, oh, in banana. Okay. I'm going to use this one instead since I'm not going anywhere. I don't want to waste makeup. I don't want to waste my good makeup. <laughs> and look at this. This is like, boop, you open it up. And this is what it looks like in the inside. Truly banana. So. bake under the eyes and just all over see that do I need to turn this up what is this hair Ugh. I wish I could have some music playing while I do this, but dang, copyright and all that other stuff. Mm -mm. I don't feel like going to it. Just gonna pat this on me. Mm. Just pat, pat. Oh, my nose up here. Just everywhere, pat it. As you can see, it's all on my shirts. So don't do this and you got your evening clothes on and you want to do your makeup. Mm -mm. Do your makeup before you put your good clothes on. I'm going to keep that out. Bake again. Where that towel is, the whip one. Yeah. Wipe this off. Wipe me off. Hmm. Okay. And as you can see, oh, I am baking to perfection. Got under the eyes. And basically, what setting powder does is reduces. Is it reduces like uh your pores and just get your makeup ready to use all day. Basically, that's all it does. Get your makeup ready to set it all day so you can look fabulous wherever you're going. Mm. So let's do a night. Yeah. All right. And I think that is enough. So I am going to see what I'm going to use. 
brushes. Okay, this is my powder brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush all this excess off. So as you can see, I brushed the excess off. Oh my gosh, what is, why did it look like that? Okay. As you can see, I brushed the excess off, but it's still, whatever's gonna cling on, clung on. So now it's time to start the foundation. And I'm going to go in today, not with my Fenty 450 like I usually do, but I'm going to go in today with the Maybelline, a drugstore makeup, Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, uh, Normal to Dry Skin in 360 Mocha. See that? 360 mocha so. and basically it hydrates and smooths skin texture natural luminous finish now I know a lot of people like to put their makeup on with a brush but not me I like to use a sponge a beauty blender so now I'm gonna am I forgetting something no, I'm not. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna go in. Now I'm gonna go in and take some makeup, drop it on there. See that? And just start blending it in. I think I used too much. Ugh. Dang it. Yeah, I used too much. So that's going to be too much. Okay, I'm going to use this one in. So you can see what I'm doing. It's a lot, but let's see. Um, okay, that's cool. And you see how I'm getting under the eyes and on top of the eyelid. Side of the nose. <laughs> Get that ear. You want your ears to match. Okay, that wasn't too much makeup. That was just enough.
perfect. Gonna be doing my eyebrows so for the time being I wanna take one of these brushes this is a regular drugstore brush that I got it doesn't have a brand name or anything like that I want to dip it in here Put it on my eyebrows. That way, so I, when I get ready to do my eyebrows, they'll be nice and dried out and foundation won't keep me from getting the brow that I want. Okay. Probably should have did that first. And then do to the second eyebrow. Do that. And this also helps keep your, you know, your eyebrow intact all day as well. So this dries out that makeup, that foundation that you just put on your face for your eyebrows. That dries it out off of your eyebrows. So, there goes that. And I'm going to put a little of this setting powder under my eyebrows, under my eyes again. Because I want this makeup to set all day. See, I'm putting my setting powder under my eyes. I'm baking, baking, baking. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. It's gonna be a long video, but okay. And after I take the setting powder off, I mean, after, yeah, after I take the setting powder off, I'm gonna conceal it. So I haven't forgot about that. I just do that after the fact. Now we're gonna go ahead and contour the nose. And I'm not really good at that, so bear with me. And this is the contour powder that I use, the Black Radiance True Complexion Cream Contour Palette. So 
let's see. Ooh, this is a nice fresh one. So I'm gonna use this one. Let's see. Yeah, this one, I use this one a lot. So let's use the new one. This is a Juvia's Place brush, so. That's all oh, I'm not showing you. Let's take this and go to the contour one. And use some on this brush. See how I'm doing it? And then back to this mirror. And then we're gonna. I told you I'm not good with this. Ugh, I'm not good with this at all. But let's see, let's see. Work on that. Okay. See that? See that line? See that? And then I'm gonna And go along my cheeks. See that? And then right there. Clean this brush off. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do the forehead, but I don't know how to do the forehead, so I ain't gonna do it. Oof. Makeup, you gotta know what's what, and I'm like, I'm not really that good with makeup for real, but I do what I can. And let me get my eyebrows, my uh, eyelids prepped with the Fenty Pro Filler Amplifying Eye Primer Base. So let me go ahead and get my eyebrows prepped. My uh, eyelids prepped, should I say, not eyebrows. See that? And then let's do this one.
And you see I got my eyelids pressed. So we just gonna let that set. And <clears throat> take this. I'm gonna take the other end of my foundation brush and just pat the contour on my nose. probably doing it wrong but like I said I'm not a uh I am not a makeup artist sorry I'm not sorry okay and then that's that and then I think I have Baked long enough. So let's go ahead and get this off of me. Oh, what brush should I use? Oh, I think it was the powder brush. Yep. Let's go ahead and get this powder brush and take this bacon off. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that looks good. Take that off the eyebrows. There you go. Mm. Keep this right there. So now, oh, I gotta do the cheeks. I did the cheeks and didn't even blend it in. There you go. Perfect. So far, so good. So now I am going to uh, let's see highlighter. Well, we could do the highlighter if I do my eye color. Yeah. This is some highlighter. You just <laughs> I guess you pack that. I don't know how to use highlighter. I just pack it. I guess you just pack that thing out. I don't know. Okay. I guess the rest of the look, it goes with the look when you, when you, uh, oh yeah. Ooh, my nose looks straight. <laughs> I think I did something right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, let's get started on my eyebrows. So my favorite pencils to use for my eyebrows are the Milani Easy Brow uh, Automatic Pencil in dark brown, number two dark brown. And this is what they look like. With a spoolie on one end. And a pencil on the other end. So let's get started. Well, let's get started. Let's 
Sondern and then go to the other end. And let's do the eyebrows. Turn to the side so you guys can see too. See how fresh that looks? Oh yeah. But I wanted to have a little bit more height. So let's put a hair on it. You. Okay, see that? I like skinny eyebrows. Like skinny yet full, if that makes sense. So let's go to the other one. Because as you can see, I've already like shaped them. You just gotta draw them in. So let's do the other one. Start at the top. Start at the top. Dang, hold up. As you can see, this one, mm, not as perfect as the other one. This one needs a little more length to it though. There you go. There you go. Handy dandy white. Put all my mistakes. Oh yeah, there you go. And then pat this right there. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. Mmm. They kind of look uneven, but I like how it look right now. This is perfect. Mm, this is perfect. This is perfect. I'm not going to mess with them no more. <sighs> okay. Now, one thing I forgot to do is a concealer. And I said I wasn't going to forget it, too, and I still forgot it. This is the Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. See that? So, let's see. So you guys can see. I have to add another layer of. Oh. Uh, add another.
Okay. See? Now time for the eyeshadow. look down at my eyeshadows see that yeah I have a lot <laughs> so for today's look I'm thinking hmm, I don't know I honestly don't know I haven't used this one yet, so we're going to use the Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place. So, yeah, let's get started on this. And where is my favorite eyeshadow brush? for the corners so I'm using three Juvia's place oops there you go I'm using three Juvia's place brushes today and the palette that I'm using is the warrior 2 by Juvia's the Amazon okay I'm not gonna try to pronounce these names I'm just gonna point to them and be like this is what's what okay Okay, so first off, I guess you have to have a background, a background crease, crease of uh, color. So I'm going to use that first and it's going to be this one right here. You see that? This one right here. And see that color on there? Perfect. Oh, I got a whole mirror. I'm not looking in the camera and I got a mirror. Well, you guys can see as I'm doing it, so. that I think I need a little bit more on the other side though this one look a little bit smoother than the right side but whatever okay now y'all know I showed you my handy dandy color remover. So gonna open it and just take this color off and go on to the next color. Right 
here. And can you see the difference? This side, this side. Mmm, starting to look like something. Now, I'm gonna add a pop of color. So, I'm gonna go in. I forgot a new brush now. This one. Does this got color? Yes, this too. It's got some green on it. Oh. Take that green off. And oh my gosh, I'm on my picture. And I'm gonna go in with this color on my lid. Oh, you can't see. I'm gonna go in gonna go in with this color on my lid. You see that? Ooh. And do you see that? Here could use a little bit more brown. Okay. So out of this palette on my eyes, as you can see, I use this color, this color as my base, this color is my crease color, I guess, I don't know, and then this color on my lids for a pop of color, and then I'm going to take oh, my concealer. Do a little uh, I guess whatever you call this that I'm doing. Just clean up 
and brows a little bit. This is for the crease. So. This was looking good already, but I want it crisp though. So, there you go. And that in. Yeah. Like I got beat up now. Okay. What is that? There you go. Okay. And once again, the look I used for my eyes today was the Warrior 2 by Juvia's. See that? I didn't go in with my crease, my crease color. Uh oh, hold on. Not my crease color, but like this part right here. I didn't go in with that color. Uh, I guess I'm gonna use this color right here. I'm gonna use this color right here for that color. too light. a little pop of color see that I had to switch because that color wasn't showing so I had to switch to um this color right here so that as you can see it looks okay I guess what I like to do to like blend everything just kind of go over everything with a brush and just make sure it's all blended there you go ah there you go Now time for the lips and cheek. So let's go ahead and do my cheeks real quick. Um, this is a highlighter brush, but I also use this as my blush brush too. So let's see. Oh, I'm using Juvia's Place. Bella. 
Okay. I know y'all probably like, this is a long tutorial, but you see the end results too. So it's worth it if you ask me. And smile and color. Smile and color. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, now when I smile, I have a pop. Oh, it looks like it needs a little bit more color right here. Okay. Now see, when I smile, I have a pop of color on my cheeks that quick. That was easy, peasy, easy peasy. So now we're going to go in with the eyeliner. I'm just gonna do a regular black today. And this is Fenty Beauty because I'm black. So. Okay, I thought I was gonna go in with Fenty Beauty. Ugh. Great. That's out. Let's go in with green. And of course, I use good old trusty Milani. Stay Put Eyeliner, this is Moss Boss. Milani Moss Boss. And it's a pencil, so you can screw it up. And let me go ahead and put that on, on the bottom lid first. cute see that you guys a nice bright vivid green oh my nose is itching and then let's put a little on the top lid well uh, let's wait top of my lashes on okay go ahead take a set of lashes off of here and these are These are Valiche lashes, Dubai style, and you can get them off of Amazon. That's where I buy mine, Amazon. Oh, and the lash glue I use is Super Strong Hold Eyelash Adhesive Black by Eye Envy. This is what it looks like. And it comes with a brush. An actual brush, not a little paddle. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Now usually it doesn't take me this long to do my makeup, but since I'm doing a tutorial and talking and all that good stuff, it kind of took a minute, but it usually doesn't take, it does not take me an hour to do my makeup when I'm going somewhere. 
I'll be bing, bang, boom. But since I'm showing you what I'm using, showing you how to apply it, then it's kind of taking a minute. Now what I'm about to do is something that I just learned. Now you see I put uh, eyelash glue on the lashes. So I'm going to do this as well. Put it on my eye. I'll put it on my lash line. Okay, right, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, and So that's another trick you can do. Put the lash glue on your lash line. So that's a that's something nifty that I learned not too long ago. And now we're gonna put the lash on. And I don't use a lash holder or nothing like that. Okay, y'all see that? I look super cute. <laughs> wow. See how lashes just take your look and times it by 20? I love it. Now we're gonna take, what is this? Left, right. Now we're gonna take the right eye and do it to this one. Just right here, but it's okay. And then I'm gonna take my Revlon eyelash curler and curl my lashes. This also helps. Ooh, these are long. Hold on. Oh. 
Okay, there you go. Curl them lashes, girls. Ladies, fellas, curl them lashes. And there you go. There you go. And now, oh, my lips. Oh, why wow, y'all been looking at my lips like, man, your lips is Now, I don't know, what is this, Diamond Glow? Fenty Glow Diamond Ball Balm? I guess I'm gonna just put a light dusting over my face or something. I don't know. Let's use my fan brush from Juvia's Place and take a light dusting like this. Put some on the brush and just glow my face up. Uh, I see a little right here. Yeah. Just a little bitty thing. I want to sparkle. Yeah. There you go. I guess that's how you use it. I don't know how to do it, so. Okay, let's get started on my lips. I don't want lipstick today. I want a lip gloss. So, let's put all this back in here. Oh, it's good for the brush. Get the brush off. Look at that. See how it's getting all that makeup off me? I love these. Okay. See all my lip glosses? Uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a Juvia's Place one today. Caramel Rose. And now I can't open it because I just wet my hands. Okay, this is Juvia's Place Caramel Rose. See on my hand. I see the color's like a nice chocolate. So, wait. Let's open it. Oh, my lips real quick. Oh, I got so much makeup. Gosh, I got so much makeup. Ugh, now I can't find it. Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna go in with some caramel rose. But I do got lip liners too. Let's see. That makes a difference. Okay. Got Juvia's Place lip liner. Uh, this one is in cola. So let's put that on first. See, I got the lip liner on. Woo, my lips are dry. This is about the nourish them. Okay, 
Let's put on some Juvia's Place Caramel Rose. Yeah, get in all them creases, cause oh, my lips are shy. All right, this is done. Okay, so. For the lip look, once again, I use Juvia's Place Lip Lip Liner, uh, Cola, K-O-L-A, and then Lip Gloss and Caramel Rose. So as you can see, ooh, this took like an hour, 24 minutes. Oh Lord, that's too long. But anyway, as you can see the end results of my uh, makeup tutorial, um, the cheeks are gleaming and shining, lips are popping. Uh, so I think I did pretty good. So, I mean, if you guys have any pointers, go ahead and let me know. But I can tell you right now, I, I don't know how to edit and do all that other stuff. So, um, I, that's something I got to learn. Somebody got to sit down with me and actually teach me how to do that. I don't know how to do all that. But, um, this is the finished result for my makeup. And as you can see, I look totally different than when I first began this makeup tutorial. I, I wish I could do a side by side before and after, but I don't know how to do all that. So, but anyway, this is the finished product. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you take the time out to look at this whole video and um, look at the products that I use and the techniques that I use as well. So thank you very much. Have a great Saturday. Natural Hair 314. Don't forget to like and subscribe.